How's it going, everybody? It's Traycraft. We're here, DEF CON. This is what, day two or three for us now? I don't know. It kind of all blends together, all right? Together for sure. But we're hanging out at the ICS Village. I'm sitting here talking with the extraordinary Tom, our ICS master here. We figured to give you guys a quick look at the village, see what all they've got going on, and hear about what they are. So, Tom, for this village, for ICS, you guys are pretty much veterans at this point here. You've been here five, six, seven years, a while, right? I, I, absolutely. We, uh, we're, we're one of the older villages. We've been here, I believe this is our seventh year, so we think we started around 23, uh, DEF CON 23, that is. We have uh, a lot of things lined up this uh, th this event. We have about 30 speakers going on. We have two workshops right now, one maritime theme, one run by DDS, which is Microgrid. We have a, a pretty big CTF going on. We're on the corner here. Uh, INL and SZA, they brought their uh, AR and VR headsets along with their seller skids. And then to top it off, we have an escape room that's running. And this is one of those topics, like you hear it, this can almost be overwhelming to even think about. Industrial control systems, I mean, what, what does that mean for people? And I think it would be really interesting to hear your take on how you would bring this kind of back down to everyone's levels at the beginner level. How does it impact their daily life? Like, so, where would they see it? Yep, industrial control systems are everywhere. So building management system that controls the lighting, the AC, and, and the conference room, that's controlled by, industrial, by a control system. You can go all the way down to traffic lights, your water plant, your wastewater plant, your power plant. All of these have control systems. Uh, you know, th these systems are designed to last 15, 20 years of nonstop uh, running, up, up, up time. Every single process is going to have some sort of control system. Might be smaller, might be larger, but control systems are, are everywhere. So yeah, this is Hack the Microgrid. We have three little Christmas villages set up here. Uh, and what we're doing is basically showing people how to hack a microgrid but using weather data as opposed to some more conventional means. If you notice, each of our little microgrid setups, whether it be the little military town one or whether it be the little city ones, they're using solar panels and wind as their power source. These sources are unique because they're vulnerable to wind, which means that most modern microgrids are pulling weather forecasts to try to better, to try to improve efficiency of these systems. However, those weather forecasts aren't really held in any secure way. They're mostly just uh, blanket FTP systems. And so that allows an attacker to get in and mess with them. The goal of this is to kind of show people these kind of exploits and get people excited about it because we're going to be doing a partnership with Fort Hunter Ligon and Camp Parks of the Army to actually do pin tests on actual Army installations soon because Big Army is planning on putting microgrids at every installation by 2035. Uh, and so this is going to be a chance for the community to help rewrite the cybersecurity standards of those before they actually get implemented and built. This is uh, the, the CTF, it's the Maritime uh, Equipment Hacking uh, Competition. And so, uh, you know, this has the real equipment that you would have on board a ship. So this is, this is an XGIS electronic chart display information system. It's what you would actually use on board at the bridge of a ship to, to do the controls. And it's one of the systems that we allow the, contest the contestants here in the competition to actually attack. So that's awesome. You're bringing in multiple different protocols, but everything's up for grabs. Everything's up for grabs. There's about 20 flags across all three consoles. Uh, and it's really focused on uh, that the, the OT protocols, the operational technology protocols, have no real security based into it. Yep. And so it's really security by obscurity, right? So we try to uh, make it available. Most people don't have a boat at home that they can hack. So we like to bring it here and try to improve the maritime cybersecurity research community. Yeah, very true. It's definitely appreciated. This thing is awesome. And so this is only the third chance people are getting at this here at DEF CON, right? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's the third time. It's the second time it's been an official competition. Uh, we got to give out a black badge last year. That was really cool. So this is very obviously a labor of love for you. What, what inspires you guys to put this on every year? What, what message do you want to get out to the world and get them interested in? Like so the, uh, we're, we're very passionate about us, uh, about, about industrial control system security and, and everything else. You know, we, th this was started about seven years ago uh, to give back to the community, to show people what industrial control systems actually are. Uh, so not, not necessarily the security of them, that came a little bit later. We had to start out with how they actually work, what they, what they do. Over time, we, we've uh, included security. Uh, we've gotten some sponsors that do security with, with control systems to integrate that. So we are maturing uh, the community. Uh, you know, we, we we go out there to many different conferences. DefCon being one of our largest ones, but we're just passionate about it and love to share our experiences. Most of us are seasoned veterans in the field, and uh, we want want to share our experiences. Well, thanks for taking the time to do a quick chat with us. Is there any last things you'd like to get out to the world? Stop on by to check us out on, 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 the, on the internet, you know, icsvillage.com. Love being here at DEF CON. We got a lot of really good stuff, and uh, thank you, everybody, for the support.
You guys heard it from the mage himself. Come check out ICS Village.